Good morning to this morning moment, day six, the trial, the crucifixion, the death, and the burial of our Lord Jesus Christ, what we call Good Friday. You see, Good Friday was the most difficult day of Passion Week. Christ's journey is going to take a huge turn, a painful turn, in these final hours that will lead to his death. You see, according to Scripture, Judas Iscariot today, out of his remorse of betraying Jesus, went out and hung himself. Meanwhile, around 9 o'clock in the morning, we find that Jesus has to endure great shame. His accusations and criticisms, they mocked him and they beat him. And they, the disciples who were closest to Jesus abandoned him. You see, after m multiple illegal trials, uh, they passed a sentence of death, death by crucifixion, one that was a most disgraceful and horrible act of capital punishment. You see, they really wanted Jesus to suffer. Before Jesus was led away, the soldiers spit on him and mocked him. They placed a crown of thorns on his head. Blood went down his face. They made Jesus carry his own cross to a place called Golgotha. And again, they mocked him and insulted him. And there, the Roman soldiers nailed him to the cross. Jesus spoke seven final statements from the cross. His first words were, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. And his last words were, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. You see, at this moment, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon where Jesus breathes his last breath and he dies. By six o'clock that evening, at the beginning of Passover, Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea took Jesus' body down from the cross and placed it in a tomb. A tragic day, and yet we call it Good Friday because Jesus Although he went to the cross, although he suffered and died and is placed in the tomb, Sunday's a coming, the resurrection. The scriptures I want you to read today is found in Matthew chapter 27, verses 1 through 62. Mark chapter 15, verses 1 through 47. Luke chapter 22, 63 through chapter 23 verse 56, and John 18, verses 28, through chapter 19, verse 37. Today is Good Friday. I hope you will join us tonight in our special Good Friday service, starting at 7 o'clock. Gather your family and friends, do a watch party, and let's celebrate. Yes, celebrate. Yes, celebrate the crucifixion, the suffering and death of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of what he did, you and I do not have to suffer. He paid a price that we could not pay. And that's why we can celebrate. Let me pray for you today. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you today for this is the day that you have made. And Lord, we're gonna be glad and rejoice in it. Lord, as we celebrate Good Friday, I pray that you would bring to our remembrance all that Jesus suffered, bled and died. But it's through his suffering that he came. The reason and purpose of today is was set in motion at the beginning of time. And so Father, I pray for all of us today to really remember how much our God loves us because he sent his son Jesus to take a place that we don't have to. Be with your people today. Give them a great day. And Father, I pray that we'll have a great service tonight at our Good Friday service. Bless your people today, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day, and I hope to see you tonight at our Good Friday service. Have a blessed day today.